All right, y'all. Look, um, over time, I've had a few a few people ask me about talking about this topic, right? So I felt right now would be the perfect time to talk about it. And today's topic is going to be about weed. It's going to be about marijuana. Um, so, ladies and gents, um, prepare yourself to hear a few things that you might not want to hear, right? All right, so I feel... I'm very well equipped to do this video because um, I smoked weed for a very long time in my life and it pretty much led me nowhere, right? Um, and I'm sure a lot of people can agree because I would say what fully sparked this video um, was the last video I did, the last talk we did on the channel. And um, a couple of the comments were people saying that they felt like, you know, their gut was telling them to stop smoking weed. You know, a good bit of the comments I read were people saying they should stop smoking, you know, stop drinking, whatever, whatever, right? Um, so today, we're here to talk about how weed has basically changed over the years and how we are not um, smoking the same thing anymore. It's not the same marijuana that was here 10 years ago. It's definitely not the same marijuana that was here back when our parents smoked weed, right? Now, a lot of people like to create excuses for themselves on why they smoke weed. You know, they like to say, oh, it doesn't do me like that. It doesn't make me anxious. It doesn't make me um, lazy. It doesn't do this. It doesn't do that. But what they don't know is that they're just making excuses to constantly trick their brain into believing that they need the THC, right? Well, I guess you've already tricked your brain because it's just your brain that is craving the THC because you smoke it so often, right? So if we want to talk about first how weed has basically changed, it's pretty easy to notice. Why? Because most people have complaints on heart racing, anxiety, paranoia, and so on and so on in these days more than it's ever been. And that that's because the genetics of the weed has been tampered with. It's not the same weed anymore. It's not grown the same. It's all kind of pesticides on the plant itself when it's being grown. So in case um, this is why people are starting to receive and have more um, paranoia, anxiety, um, heart racing, you know, when you smoke the weed um, and just you know, all kind of other feelings of just being anxious and thinking too much when, you know, weed used to like calm people down, used to do the same thing to me. Like, you know, I, I used to be able to smoke weed and just chill and just do, you know, do whatever. I, I wasn't being the most productive, but I wasn't super lazy on it either. You know, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm speaking on when it actually made me feel good, but I was one of those people that it started to make me feel anxiety and I was never a heavy anxious person like that or at least I didn't think I was until it started making me feel that way and I started having those you know um heart racing issues and this would be you know just random just if I smoke too much it wouldn't even be like oh I didn't smoke for three days and then I smoke and my heart start racing you know it wouldn't be that it would be constant smoking and then my bad job I'm shaking the camera so much it, it would be constant smoking days and days and days and then just out of nowhere at night I'm smoking or whatever and then next thing you know my heart is thumping out my chest and I'm sitting here thinking I'm about to die or something like that you know what I'm saying and all that does is increase anxiety and at the same time increasing you know your blood pressure and all that like you know while you're while you're sitting there high as hell and your heart is racing out of your chest probably above 200 beats per minute anything could happen that shit is not safe that is not safe bro your heart beating that fast is not safe and and and, and you're tricking you're tricking yourself and and into thinking that you know it's okay it's just coming from the weed it's just you know this is just what weed does to you sometime you high as hell but we always like to give ourselves excuses to continue smoking when really at the end of the day you don't need it you don't need to smoke you really do not need to smoke you need to start to understand and start to be able to live your life off of your natural energy and that's almost what i was talking about in that last video you need to start 
living the way you are meant to live, the way you're supposed to live. There's so much in life out there to enjoy. There's so much to do with your time besides sitting back and smoking. You don't, bro. You're, you're, you're literally making excuses every single time. And I know some of y'all are going to get under this video and make more excuses onto why you smoke. Oh, it helps me calm down. It helps me go to sleep. It helps me do this. No, I don't get anxious. I don't do that, bro. You're tricking yourself, bro. Your brain has already been tricked. That's the thing. That's why you're sitting here making the excuses. You're literally tricking yourself, bro, into believing that you need the shit. It's not the same, bro. You're not some, all this fucking gelato runts and all these strands that these rappers and shit are making, bro. You have to think about it, bro. They already use rappers and shit to, you know, um, bring this negative energy, sell sex, sell violence, sell darkness. That's all they already use the rappers to do that. So think about what they're using the rappers to do with the weed as well, bro. Why do you think all these rappers got their own strand now? They're using the rappers to push this weaponized marijuana, bro. That's basically what it is, bro. They're you like you, you have to understand anything that a rapper is pushing is not good for you, bro. Already they've sold out. They've already sold their soul. And now they're pushing marijuana strands on you and you think that that shit is safe to smoke? You think that shit is safe to smoke? You think that's a natural ass plant that just was grown and it was meant for you to smoke? No, it's not anymore. Why you think the weed smells so damn fruity and shit now? Got all these different flavors. Let me shut the door. I can hear the dog about to start barking. You know what I'm saying? Why, why do you think it smells the way it smells, but then when you smoke it, it don't even taste how it smells? Bro, that's not natural. If you smell something, it should damn near taste how it smells. And I'm giving you this shit from someone who smoked a lot. So I, I think I have a major input on this topic. And I really feel like y'all should listen to me. And you need to slow down. You need to taper off. And you need to get off of this weed that they're constantly putting in our face today, bro. It's completely weaponized. It's not the same weed. And who are they marketing it to? Us. Us, bro. Black people. <laughs> of course, everyone smokes weed, white folks, whatever, you know, you want to Mexicans, everybody smoke weed, of course. But the market, you have to think about the market. You have to think about the rappers. You have to think about people who are in the forefront of pushing the strands. That's why I said anything that comes from a rapper that they allow rappers to promote and push toward the general public is not good. These are sellouts, bro. So what, it, what, what makes you think? That these strands that, you know, all these strands y'all smoking shit. What makes you think this shit is good for you, bro? Listen to your body when you're smoking that shit. Listen to it the way you feel afterwards. You have to listen to your body or else you're going to end up. You know what I'm saying? You're just going to end up a fucking zombie. A fucking crackhead, bro. The, the, the new fucking crackheads is off of this fucking weed. Crack ain't even crack. It's, it's weed now. It's this weed. And you're craving the fuck out of it, bro. That you, if you, if I don't, you know, if if I have some, you know, some people in here above, which I know I do, some people above twenty five and thirty, above thirty, and y'all around that age, y'all are y'all were there for the weed that was natural, for the weed that didn't make you crave to smoke it five times a day. You could probably smoke you a little joint, blunt, bowl, whatever you choose to smoke out of, and you'd be good for. You know, the whole day, maybe you smoke again at night or some shit. This weed today, it, it, it makes you crave the hell out of the shit. You want to smoke that shit five times a day, bro. Whatever they've done to the genetics, it makes you crave the shit entirely more. That's why it's like it's like crackhead highs now. You get you get 20, 45 minutes of a strong high. And the next thing you know, you want to smoke again in a few hours. You want to smoke after everything that you do before you eat, after you eat. Before you go somewhere, before you go to work, before you go to school, after you get home from school. Bro, what are you doing? You're not even allowing yourself to live a natural life. Not even allowing your, your brain to have just, you know, just be natural. Be, be <laughs> like, have natural cravings for things in life outside of weed. Everything is based off of the weed. You see what I'm saying? You have to give your time. You have to give your body that time. You know what I'm saying? And then, and 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 trust me, when I stop smoking, oh, bro, the withdrawals are going to be crazy. You're going to sweat profusely out of your hands and feet. You're going to be peeing the shit out. 
like like when when I was when I was in them with I was just peeing for no reason. I like hadn't even drunk much fluids that day or something. Hadn't even drunk the the appropriate amount of water I usually drink. And then next thing you know, I'm just peeing out of nowhere, just white pee just coming out. You just it's just flowing out of your body, bro. Anything that starts to flow out of your body like that is not good for you afterwards. And you have to also think about it. If you're smoking blunts, you you have two withdrawals. You're withdrawing from nicotine and you're withdrawing from THC. So imagine what that shit is actually doing to your body. Most of y'all motherfuckers smoke blunts every day. Four, five blunts, bro. You're smoking tobacco, nicotine as well as the marijuana that is not good for you. Did y'all not notice the change of the weed over the last like six to seven years? Did y'all not notice it? Think about what you smoking, bro. Think about how fruity the shit looks and smells. It is not natural. It is not natural. I'm not even going to tell you to go look for the natural weed and smoke it. You know, which number one, you're not supposed to smoke weed. It was never intended to be smoked because any kind of smoke is bad for your fucking lungs. Obviously, not even thinking about that. You're thinking more about just getting high. You don't even think about your lungs, bro. Come on, bro. You trying to live a long, healthy life or what, bro? What do you want to do? You want to live until you up until your 80s and still able to walk and move and do shit? How you going to live that long if you're smoking weed all day? My, my, my boy, y your lungs need a break. You have organs in there that are taking the smoke. Even your brain. Your brain is going to start to shape and look different the more you smoke, the more you have this nicotine in you. I need y'all to listen to me. I need y'all to listen to me. And no matter how hard, you know, no matter how hard it gets to stop, um, no matter the battle that you face with it, um, I promise you, bro, once once you set that out of your life, um, once you commit to doing it, you know, you, you're going to feel so much better, bro. You're going to realize your appetite comes back even stronger. You don't need weed to eat, bro. You get you get high, you get munchies, you get the cravings for sugar, bro. You're not you're not even craving good food. You're not craving fruit. You're not craving veggies. You're not craving a banana, bro. You're craving chips. You're craving Snickers, candy. Yeah, you can eat you can eat a big meal when you're high because you have the munchies, but the crave is not for good shit. It's for shit to just continue fucking up your body and getting into your brain. You know what I'm saying? It's just you're just craving sugar and salt. That's it. And 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 <laughs> and spirits love sugar and salt. Trust me. Demon spirits, they love salt and sugar, bro. That that's another piece of where you're getting the cravings from. Yet alone if you want to talk about the spiritual side of things, you're inviting things into your life that you wouldn't have if you didn't smoke weed. You're opening your vessel. That's true. You're opening up your aura. You're pinching holes into your aura for things to come into it, to come into your temple that would never have been there if you wasn't smoking weed. And that's the real. That's the real because you're not using it. You're not using it for its true intent. Plus, how can you even use it for its true intent? Obviously, we know weed was a natural plant that was, you know, here probably before any of us. But it's not in its natural state no more. So how can you possibly tell yourself that you're using the weed for, you know, higher thinking or to make you be creative and all this good stuff? How are you telling yourself that if the weed is not natural? Answer me that question. If the weed you're smoking is not natural and we know it's not natural, how do you get the benefits from it? Tell me that. Please give me give me an answer. Give me an answer in the comments, bro. And I will personally respond to y'all and tell you if the shit that you said makes sense. If the weed is not natural, how in the fuck are you getting benefits from it, bro? That's why most people are experiencing the problems they are today when it comes to the paranoia, being anxious, and so on and so on. It's not natural no more, bro. Give it up. Challenge yourself. Live life the natural way. Live life the way God intended you to live, and I promise you, you'll open up doors that you've never seen before. You don't need the shit, bro. You don't need it. You don't. You don't, bro. Uh, y'all, y'all women that smoke weed, y'all don't need it either. Um, and th this message is gonna be 
strong toward men because men men are um men men sometimes are just naturally weaker than women. Women women will give some shit up. Um, I ain't talking about all y'all because some of y'all crackheads too when it comes to the weed and shit. I'm not talking about all y'all, but most of the time, most of the time, women to give some shit up. You know what I'm saying for for some shit, some shit that they know they have to get done. Men they have a men have a, you know they just have a problem giving it up. Ego is too much. You know what I'm saying. Um, and then and then it's not even to mention people that have addictive personalities. You struggle even more giving shit up. You see what I'm saying. So there's a lot of factors that play into the fact of you just, I guess, not being able to give it up the way that you want to. But I promise you, man, you you lean on God, you ask God for that help. And then, number one, you go within yourself and just realize that you don't need it, bro. You roll up the blunt, you smoke the blunt. That whole process takes like 10 minutes. You smoke a blunt for 10 minutes, right? Probably 10 minutes at the most. Most blunts ain't taking too much longer than that unless you're smoking a blunt filled with four, five grams of some shit, which is, I don't understand why people do that. But anyway, you smoke for 10 minutes, right? You be high for like probably the next hour. It's intense. After that, you're coming down. You're starting to feel lazy as fuck, sleepy, tired. You might even have a little headache on some shit. You realize that was just an hour and 10 minutes just that short span of time that you wanted to get high and shit. And after that, you got to feel all these drowsy and lazy effects over 10 minutes of getting high. 10 minutes, bro. Think about it. You have to think about the time frame of just of, of how much you smoke. You're smoking that blunt for a couple of minutes. And then the results after that shit is just, it's not even worth it, bro. It's not even worth it, bro. You could find you something else to do for them little 10 minutes or whatever when you're craving that high. Like I said, y'all, um, the weed is weaponized. The weed is not the same. And um, y'all need to recognize what is going on. And like I said, we're we're living in a time where, um, you know, it's, it's basically time for you to take control of your own life and do away with the things that are not lining up to your goals. And let it go, bro. Let it go. Live life on the other side. And like I said, watch watch life just start creating those lanes for you, bro. Watch your money start being in your bank account more. You're going to have better health. You're going to have a clearer mind. And so on and so on, man. So y'all already know what's going on, man. I'm going to leave this. Uh, I'm going to leave this video right here. You know, hopefully this make y'all do a little bit of thinking. And Y'all already know, man. Let me know what's going on in the comments. And with that being said, it's Black Balloon, and I'm going to see y'all soon.